So we've officially arrived at Thorpe Park and it's actually surprisingly not busy in the car park. We thought it was going to be absolutely rammed, but it doesn't look too bad. So we'll find out what it's like when we actually get into the park. So we're here today to ride Hyperia. The owner of the channel, Brandon, is actually stuck at school. So he can't be here today, but we're going to come next week and we just wanted to come up here and make sure that we had some footage. We managed to ride Hyperia on opening day. So, so far, getting into Thorpe Park, actually, not too bad. It was, it was quite quiet. It's, it's about half nine in the morning, so they're about to let, start letting people into the park. And so we'll see what, the, what it actually turns out like once we're, uh, once we're up at the queue. Uh, we are aiming to go straight for the Hyperia queue and try and ride it first. Um, we have no idea how long that's going to take. People are saying it could be four to six hours. I guess we'll find out. So here we go. Let's go and ride Hyperia. Currently a four hour queue. Uh, we don't know whether it's actually going to be four hours or not, but uh, we're going to get in the queue and we're just going to see where it takes us. So we have made our way into the holding queue. Uh, which is in the area where Morkin Meadow uh, would be for Fright Nights. Um, we're basically almost there. The queue time, total queue time at the moment is 220 minutes. So it's actually gone down a little bit, uh, but we reckon maybe three more hours, but we'll see. Two hours in and we're in the holding queue still. Uh, we haven't entered the main Hyperia ride area yet. Um, they're sending it round with no riders at the moment, so wondering if there's some problems with it, but just gonna keep at it. We've had some lunch, everybody's sitting down, chilling out in the queue. We're committed, so we're just gonna stick at it. at the main ride queue. Uh, we've been queuing uh, for around four hours at this point, but Hyperia is right there. And uh, we're just heading up towards the main entrance. And then apparently it's a two hour queue from this point. So that'll take us up to about six hours.
So we're officially in the main ride queue. We've gone under the Hyperia entrance, which is just here. And now we're heading to the uh, through the main part of the queue, two hours from this point. So we are very, very close. We're in the cattle pen part of the uh, ride queue line. So that's basically nearly in the station. Uh, I reckon we got 10, maybe 20 minutes before we, we get on it. So we'll be in touch again after we come off. of Hyperia. We had the second to back row and the back row between the three of us and it is probably the most intense ride I think I've ever experienced in my entire life. Nothing like anything I've experienced. The crest of the lift hill and going over it is unbelievable and you you absolutely have to try this ride for yourself. It's incredible. So get to Thorpe Park, check out Hyperia. Hopefully you won't have to queue for six hours like we did but I can definitely say that it was absolutely worth it. So we have officially ridden Hyperia. It is undoubtedly one of the best rides in the UK. And we're gonna be back next week to ride it again. Hopefully with a little bit less of a queue, uh, but we'll see. Um, yeah, the staff have been amazing. Actually, the public were amazing today. People weren't pushy, people weren't getting annoyed, um, which was really nice. And yeah, it's just been an amazing day. We did only manage to do Hyperia, Swarm, Stealth uh, and uh, Depth Charge. Um, Swarm, Stealth, most of the other rides are all on like zero queues, zero, five, ten minutes, absolute maximum. So that was awesome. Um, but yeah, so Hyperia was a long one. <laughs> it was a really long queue. So um, if you're heading down to ride Hyperia at any point, I highly recommend that you, uh, you do that on a quiet day but just uh, don't miss out, it's uh, one hell of a ride. So as we leave the park for the day, just wanted to show one last look at Hyperia on the skyline. Unbelievable ride. And we'll be back next week to check her out again. Unfortunately, after an epic opening day, Thought Park have announced that Hyperia will remain closed for at least the next four or five days due to an issue. Whilst it's disappointing to so many people, we all need to understand that there are always teething problems with new roller coasters and we need to be patient while the issue is resolved and the ride can reopen. We'll be heading up again in the coming week regardless to do the rest of the park and hopefully we'll all ride Hyperia again soon.